Us, let me see you clap your hands. The person that is clapping louder. The person that is clapping loudest. Okay, it's okay. So today, by the grace of God, we are here to, to do a little thing in your lives. God has been helping us over the years, and as God is also helping the organization, the organization is also uh, reaching out to as many people that they can reach out to. So today we are here to also reach out to you. We have gone to other schools in the past years, and we are continuing to go to as many schools as the Lord will enable us. So today we are here in your school. We brought some items that are here. Um, that are those that we reach out to every one of you, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But there are also those that we will identify the people that are actually in need of them. And then we'll give to those people. But every one of you that is here, you are going home with something. Is that good? Yes. It's okay. So. The, we have a team and the president of the organization is also here. We also have other people who are volunteers. Can we put our hands together for them? They are here to help us. We are not paying them, but they have seen that what we are doing is good. So they have also given their time to be here to help us do what we are doing. And then we have our people, we are seeing them carrying cameras about, they are part of the team. But I want to introduce to you the president of the organization, so that when she comes, she will be able to tell you one or two things, and then we will begin to share the items. Let's put our hands together as we well. see the president, Mrs. Christabel Silva. -Jean. Hello students, Hello, how are you today? Hi, I can see wonderful smiles on your faces. I hope you're happy to be here today. Yes. Oh, yeah. Clap for yourselves. I just want to introduce myself again. My name is Christabel Silver John. I'm the National Coordinator of Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, an organization that is committed to changing the lives of the less privileged in our society trying to help them become better people. You know, sometimes some of us will come from poor homes, not because it's our choice, but circumstances. But you can also choose to become different from where you're coming from. Poverty is a choice. Wealth is a choice. So you either make up your mind to get out of poverty and, and help your parents and help the society at large. So today we're going to be supporting you with uh, exercise books, school shoes, and other materials. I know many of us growing up as uh, children, when you come to school without the proper materials, you feel less. When you see other kids well equipped, looking handsome and beautiful, that makes you want to just recline to yourself, making you feel as if you're nothing, you're, not, you're worthless. You are not. It's not your choice that maybe some of you are from homes that your parents cannot be able to afford all these items. Naturally, they would want to, but circumstances beyond them make them not be able to do that. So that is what we do. We bridge the gap. We help the parents. And we also encourage parents not to have kids that they can't cater for. If you know you can't carry five children, why should you have five children? 
If it's one or two you can take care of, bring them. Don't bring kids that will become nuisance to the society. Tomorrow, you know, each and every one of you here are seeds. You know when you plant a seed on the floor, it grows and becomes a tree tomorrow. So I look at you as trees. Amongst you here are president, amongst you are you know, future doctors, lawyers. Depending on what you want to be, nothing will stop you if you are determined to be successful in life. And where it starts from is from the classroom. Thank God we have teachers who are shaping you, to mold you, to become better citizens. Not just for the society, but for yourself. I grew up from a family where my father used to tell us that whatever we become in life, it's for our own good and not for them. The only benefit they can get is the name. That they, when they ask whose child is this, and they said, this person is this person's child. And I'm sure that none of you want to be cult members here. You know what it means when you become a cultist or you join bad friends? Sometimes you end up losing your life. But you become good people today. Tomorrow you'll be so proud of yourself. And I want to come back, maybe someday amongst you here, I can be sick one day and I go to the hospital. And I will say, I remember this child. There was a time I visited that person in the school. And I'll be so proud of you. I hope you want me to be proud of you. Yeah. So, and today is, we are commemorating the fourth International Day of Education with the theme, Changing Course and Transforming Education. As we all know, education is the key, is a background, a platform for us to become in anything we want to be. If you're not educated, you can't be a doctor. If you're not educated, you can't even do business properly. These days, everything is becoming digital. So if you want to become a better entrepreneur, a better business person, do me the favor and get educated. Gone are the days when our parents would tell us, go to school, get good grades because they want you to make money. You're not going to get education because you want to get good grades or make money. It's good to get a good grade and make the money. But education gives you an edge over somebody who is an illiterate. Education will help you to be able to read and to write, to know your basic rights as a citizen. Because if you're not educated, how do you know your fundamental right as a citizen? You will not know. So I want to encourage you to be good children, obey your parents at home, obey your teachers. Study very hard to become who you want to be in life. And I wish you all the best of luck. You see this bag? That, 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 uh, that second stanza, you will sing it. You know how to sing it, right? You know how to sing it? I have sing it, the second standard, that was God of creation. I have sing it, let me hear. Sing, sing it loud, loud, loud. Come, 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 come. come. Come and collect. Alice, she has, she has tried. You have tried, you hear? Collect, collect it. Stand according to your class. Stand according to your classes. Stand according to your classes. Hands forward straight. No, you can stand. Eunice, Thank you. Thank you. You want to my Yes. Don't worry, I will come with the Don't worry, I will bring with the I will come with the Bible. Right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.